If I'm welcome back again to another video, you guys, for the next person. So, in today's video, I'm talking about universities in Ireland that does not require IOTS. We all know that UK now, even as UK is on cast, and then immigrants are now shifting options to other countries. And this one is mostly because of the new news of uh, if you study in UK, you might not actually get your postgraduate program. So, of course, one of the things immigrants actually consider when they want to study in other countries is admission requirements. And the one that is to give us a headache is this IOTS. So guys, let's be talking about universities in Highlands that does not require IOTS. If you see me looking at my phone, is the things I have jotted things down. You got, you know, at this channel, I passed that stage of typing, sorry, of writing on my this thing. It takes a whole lot of time. So I thanks to you guys for you know patronizing me and making my life so sweet to get another phone so that to make video easy for you guys. Anyways, let's dive right into it. In no particular order. So the thing is, in as much as these universities they give health as exemptions, there there is actually a bot to this. So the first thing is I'll be listing the universities, and then I'll be telling you guys the bots. So now let's get started because there's nothing free, even in free time. So the first on my list, in no particular order, in no particular order, is University of Limerick. It does not require LSUS. Next on my list is Dublin Institute of Technology. The rest of my list is, hmm, I'm not so good with pronunciation, but obviously I'll type it on the screen. The rest of my list is Maynard University. The next on my list is National University of Ireland. The next on my list is Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. College of Surgeons in Ireland. This one is like a subsidiary to another school. So the next on my list is University College Cork. The next on my list is University College Dublin. So that is all schools. Wait, the next. Wait, 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 guys. Did I mention this one? Okay. Yeah. So that is all schools in Ireland that does not require IOTs. So, like I said, there's actually a bot attached to it. And what are the bots? The bots are, are not limited to. Um. There are so many ways to actually give alternative for you not giving IELTS right? <laughs> and even at that, okay, let's talk about the alternative and then the big bot. The first one is you can use um your previous college, maybe your language of instruction, or um, maybe you did BSc, you just collect letter from your dean of studies that your study was taught in pure English, or if you're a secondary school, like you just finished, you want to go for your undergraduate, you can approach your principal in school to give you um you know that official letter that your study throughout the secondary school was actually conducted in english the other alternative is there are some of these um schools that actually conduct english preparatory class so you can actually opt for that instead right you can just do one year six more thing is it's not fuel it's expensive oh well. mm -hmm. and why would i it's better i write out than to go and do preparatory course 
just to speak this English? Is it just to speak this English? I am not so. So I don't really because ah, unless you just want to ah, do do. I don't know. And and another thing is under alternative is they can actually do interview for you via Skype, call you via Skype and do interview, hear you speak and everyone around. So those are the alternatives you can use for your artists. But like I said, a great part is according to the islands embassy of Nigeria Limited, <laughs> going to their website. The thing is, even if your school actually exempts you from IELTS, he not consign their papa. Yeah, so your school can exempt you for IELTS, but you actually need IELTS during your visa application. So why are you bothered about the university that does not require IELTS or not? When you know that during your visa application, they will actually ask you to write IELTS. IELTS is the compulsory criteria for island study visa you can't escape it for nigerians you can't escape it but i don't know if nigerians can escape it what is ghana what is Cameroon? because even nigerian the right of africa that they can hear or speak english they made it compulsory so definitely africans i don't know about other countries you can actually check their website um english exam is their compulsory criteria to actually study in highland so tell me i still consider moving to ireland i'll be you go akajeje and go to the uk but really if you ask me ireland is actually worth it at this time because i feel like uk has had a whole lot of immigrants so they're looking for a way to show you and one of those things i used to say is make sure to actually move to a country that has more stability immigration favorable stability so ireland, ireland does not have a lot of immigrants yet yeah Mm. because it is because uk has a lot of immigrants they have more than enough that's why they're just coming from different rules do this one don't sleep at night wake up today don't you know get it so um but the thing is your requirement for the IOTS is just band four or band five i guess yeah it's, it's not a lot you don't have to have plenty you get so just close eyes and right because even if your square is empty visa we know it's empty show you know and everything like that so guys um i have um other videos i've made about highland if you've not seen i'll put in the link in my description box i created a playlist i titled it island i'll put in the link in my description box so you can click the link in my description box and then apply yeah check my other videos that you can actually you know so guys thank you so much for watching today's video and obviously and of course i'll see my next one thanks for watching bye